I guess I started being creative in the third grade when I starred in Peter Pan, and I had a great time, and it changed my life at age eight, nine. And so I was in theater all during high school, and I decided I wanted to be a musical comedy actress. So I enrolled at NYU in the theater program, and at the end of that, I decided, well, I think I really like directing better because I like telling people what to do. I really started working with fabric at NYU because I designed costumes for the plays, and I loved that too. And when I graduated, I got a job at Butterick Vogue, which is the fashion house in New York. How lucky was that? And I was surrounded by color and texture and fabric. And so I think that's when I started working with fabric, even in my mind. Several years ago, I began using fabric and thread and stitching. I explored the techniques of couching, decorative machine stitching, and, and hand embroidery. That kind of evolved into a series called Stupendous Stitching, and it's my most well-known body of work. Stitch and Slash is my second series, and it was inspired by my collection of molas that were made by the Kuna tribe in Panama. So that was followed by fiber paintings, and that combines deconstructed screen printing, thickened dyes, paints, and stitching to create some unique surfaces and patterns. Today, I continue to evolve and now I'm making silk explosions. <laughs> and that combines felting with hand embroidery, a ragged edge, and it creates interesting and intriguing textures with silk. Fiber art is really contemporary and different than you ever thought. It's full of color, it's full of texture, and in my case, it's full of handwork. You have to see it up close because you can't see it online. You can't see it in a photo. I hear this all the time. Your nose has to be right next to it to try to figure out what it's all about. My name is Carol Ann Waugh, and I'm looking forward to meeting you.